Armageddon was given by Yechezkel, and it talks about the end of days, where there'll be a coalition of a few nations of the world that come together, and they will be against Israel. They will fight us, and it will be very difficult. It's a very dangerous, complex war which at the end will get some help from the upper force and with miracles and everything, uh, he'll take us out of this place. So first of all, as Israeli society and in the period that we're in today with the Iranians uh, like a cloud above us, I think that every time they speak about this in the media, Yes, do they talk about it in the media? Uh, we'll hear it there. It depends on the situation. Each time it comes up, I think each of us in some place, we have some fear that that same war that they're speaking of, it'll break out, that it'll happen. So first of all, what is Armageddon from your perspective as someone that sees the network? the system. We can take all these examples from Egypt, <coughs> that they're standing in front of Pharaoh, and then Pharaoh is the symbol of our ego, the help, helpmate. It's not some external Pharaoh, but it's internal. In each and every one of us it exists, and we need to fight against it in order to reach connection. And this ego is always getting up with renewed forces, and blow after blow it receives, it keeps awakening in us, and we're like, again, we're uniting, we're succeeding, and after the war we go back to being the way it was. And we see that the problem is can we, or do we need the bad force <coughs> precisely through which we come together, that we cancel the ego between us and are we only brothers in times of trouble and not from <coughs> truly understanding that we need to be connected and start working on it ourselves? And not because there's external pressures uh, forcing us to be closer to each other, to be a mutual responsibility. Not at a time of war, not at a time of threat, but we just understand that it's worth it for us to do this, that we are obligated according to the plan of nature to reach the good situation. So the question is like this, the combination between the education that we'll receive if we educate ourselves properly and the blows from nature that we'll suffer. Can we, through education, a wise person sees what's coming, can we see the bad things, what our ego is preparing for us for the future, not just for today, but also for the future? And in this way, correct ourselves through connection, so we'll understand and we'll feel this network connecting us. And we'll sweeten these laws that are coming from nature. That same Armageddon that's arisen inside of us first and foremost. We need to understand that those bad forces, they grow from us, they come from us. And if we're not capable of fighting against them, then this application, this uh, reflection from the branch and the root, we'll feel it in our corporal world. But it all comes from inner situations inside of us. Therefore, just like Pharaoh, or, uh, he's our ego, and it's come to bring us to connection, which through Pharaoh we've uh, benefited. He sacrificed us to God. If it wasn't for Pharaoh, we wouldn't have reached the status of Mount Sinai, love thy neighbor as thyself, don't do unto your friend what you wouldn't want done to you. All of Israel are friends, our brothers, mutual responsibility. Do we need these blows from Pharaoh that will feel them? 
and it will obligate us to connect or through education, through the system that will build the social system, will be, begin to be more sensitive about the relations between people, and then we'll be able to get rid of all these uh, serious problems. That same great war, that if a person succeeds more or less, with his ego to overcome his nature, to hate the ego and bring himself to connection is also documented in all the prophecies. Which the most known one is Armageddon that speaks about that in the end of days, we need to really decide how are we advancing onward to implementing love thy neighbor as thyself. We're reaching such a state of development that this is what's left uh, clearly for us to do. Why? Because we see that this development toward it, that the world is becoming revealed as integral, a small global interdependency between everyone. We're all as one family, all of humanity, and it will become more and more revealed. Can we, the general ego that's separating between us and may, causing conflicts between us, heating us up one against the other, can we identify the evil force, destructive force in there to such an extent that we all get up and destroy this ego? We rise above it. We build uh, all, cry, all love will cover all transgressions that we ourselves want to reach connection.